This is a production of the Gold Arrow Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Gold Arrow Camp Podcast, a podcast for friends of Gold Arrow Camp. Throughout the year, we'll be joining you to bring your day some of what makes Gold Arrow special. Our goal is to help you have fun, make friends, and grow throughout the year, not just when you're at GAC. Since we can't get together in real life, we gather here around the virtual campfire. We have some of your favorite parts of morning assembly like Poetry Corner and Joke of the Day. We also have interviews with experienced campers and some of your favorite counselors. We think it's a lot of fun, and we're glad you've joined us here on the podcast. This is episode 14. Today we're talking with longtime camper, a girl whose mother described her as a GAC addict. It's Joss McGrath. We've got something really special on the show today, and, and that's an interview with a camper. And I think Joss came on, she did a really good job, but I think you'll hear she was a little bit scared. But she overcame that fear, and part of that is because Joss is an awesome kid, but part of that is because Joss has come to camp for a long time, and she's learned to face fears in a safe environment. A lot of what we do at camp is facing fears in a safe environment. It can be scary to get behind the boat and try and water ski. But you've got counselors there and your your cabin mates to cheer you on. It can be scary. We talk about this. She loves the zip line at camp, but the zip line terrifies me. It's very scary for me to get kind of up in the air like that where it feels risky. But the counselors are there. Your cabin mates are there. They cheer you on. Facing fears in a safe environment is part of what makes camp so good. And right now I'm going to face another fear. As you know, if you've been listening, uh, we've been playing a lot of guitar here on the podcast, or at least I've been trying And I have attempted to teach myself a couple new chords, a song I'm going to try and play at Big Campfire this year. Maybe I'll get Sandwich to play with me. Here we go. Some more guitar. I hope you recognize the song. Maybe you will. All right, here we go. Oh, Joss McGrath, queen of cabin 14. Welcome to the podcast. Here we go. Let's chat about camp, shall we? All right, first and foremost, tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? How long have you been coming to camp? All that good stuff. Okay. So how old are you? Eight. All right, and how many years? You're coming to camp this year. How many years will this be for you? Fourth. This is your fourth year, so you're no banner this year, but you get a blanket next year, so that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so when you come to camp, what is your favorite food? The sausage. Uh, the yeah. breakfast sausage? Yeah. Would you eat the breakfast sausage for every single meal if you could? Yes. You would eat it three meals a day? Yeah. Would you put it on a salad at the salad bar? Yes. <laughs> Would you put it in a tortilla and make a sausage taco out of it? Yes. So you love the sausage that much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Who is your favorite counselor? Um, Quailman. Quailman. Why is Quailman your favorite counselor? What makes him so special? Because he's funny. <laughs> That's it? All you have to do to be your favorite counselor is be funny? Uh, he's funny and, uh, he sings. He sings. He does sing. Do you, <laughs> do you like his overalls or do you think they're kind of ridiculous looking? Uh, I don't know. You, you don't, you no opinion on the overalls. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite activity at camp? What's your favorite thing to do at camp? Uh, zip lining. Why do you like zip lining so much? Because um, it because you get to um, kind of randomly go on a swing and then you get to um, swing and then you get to swing back and forth and then you get to fall. Okay, so I'm fairly terrified of the zip line. Like it it scares me. Does it scare you at all to like step off that platform and just go down the zip line? 
No. It, no fear whatsoever. Right. <laughs> that freaks me out. Okay, uh, you're braver than I am, I think. Uh, okay, so you're kind of a veteran at this point, right? You got you get three years of camp. You're coming for your fourth year. Yeah. You started coming then when you were like six years old. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people start coming kind of when they're your age. They're like eight or nine, right? So what advice do you have for campers who are coming for the first time? Um, to, to like, if, you, if you're like scared you're going to get homesick, you would bring like a picture album or something like that. And then... Okay. Um, you would be fine because there's tons of counselors there. Right. And I think the counselors make it easy to yeah. not be homesick because you're having so much fun, right? Right. Um, what What do you think is the most important thing people should pack to bring with them? Um, clothes and a flashlight. Clothes and a flashlight. So water bottle, important? Yes, but... Yeah, okay, you should have a water bottle? The camp store. Oh, okay, so you should... Okay. okay fair <laughs> I talked to your mom, and she told me that you guys talk about camp, like, every single day. Like, you've got, like, a countdown going. Like, you're ready to come to camp already. Is that true? Yep. I love camp. <laughs> okay. So, you love camp. Why do you love camp so much? Because it has lots of fun activities, and you get to sleep in a cabin, and then when you go to a shaver, you get to sleep on the beach. So, do you like going to shaver? Kind of. Kind of? Are you are you big on, like, the Niski Wake you like to get out behind the boat? Yes. Yeah? You yes. like sleeping on the beach? Yes. Okay. Um, do you like Bear's Adventure? I love it. Yeah, I love it. Of course. I mean, the forts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and you like the zip line. Do you like arts and crafts? Yeah, I love arts. Uh, love arts and crafts. <laughs> uh, do you like big campfire? Yep. Uh, do you like sailing? Yes. Yeah. Am I going to be able to name a single camp activity you don't like? Um, yes. Oh, I could. Um, uh, is it uh, departure day when you have to go home? Do you like go having to go home? No. Okay, so I found an activity you don't like. Okay. Have you made good friends at camp, do you think? Um, yeah. Do you think it's easier to make friends at camp or at school? Camp. Why, do you think? Um, because you get to be with them, like, in the same cabin. Like, if you have, a, if you have like, all different people in the cabin and you don't know them, you could just, you could make friends in the cabin, and then you could kind of, if you, like, if you were best, best friends before camp, you could, um, pretend you had a sleepover. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, are you ready for the speed round? Do you know the speed round on the podcast? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So five questions that everybody who comes on the podcast has to answer. Josh McGrath, here they are for you. What is your favorite item on the salad bar? And you can't say sausage. <laughs> um, olives. Olives, okay. Uh, what is your favorite repeat after me song? The one where it's like... Um, don't give me no lines, no lines. Don't oh. give me no tigers, no tigers. Just give me those bears. Rah, 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 rah. G-A-C bears. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that one's called either, but I like that one. Okay. Um, what is your favorite lip balm flavor from the camp store? Kaibo um, coconut. Kaibo coconut. Solid choice. Uh, at Campfire, would you rather have popcorn or marshmallows? Marshmallows. Oh. A bold choice. And finally, when you come to work at camp, what yeah. will your camp name be? Juice Box. Juice Box. She's already decided. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come back to the podcast in 10 years when Joss comes to work and people are gonna be like, what's Juice Box's real name? 
and people are going to find this podcast and they're going to know that your real name is Joss. You've just mm -hmm. given it up. Anything else you'd like to add? Anything you'd like to say to people who might be uh, anxious about coming to camp or nervous about camp? Anything you'd like to share? GAC is the best. GAC is the best? I tend to agree. That's why I work there. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on the podcast, Joss. You're welcome. Awesome. Joke of the cast, joke of the cast. 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 Joke of the cast. Do you guys know how many lives a German cat has? Nine! And now, it's time for another Gaxpiration with Sunshine. This week's Gaxpiration comes from Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Well, that does it again. We're out of time here on the podcast. We've done everything we came to do. I want to thank Sunshine for reading that Gaxpiration. I want to thank Joss McGrath and her mom, Egg, for putting together that awesome interview. I hope you enjoyed Joss. I think that was a lot of fun. I want to thank bensounds.net for the music that plays us in and plays us out. I want to thank you for listening. Without listeners, the podcast is just me sitting in an office talking to myself. If you like the show, share it with somebody. Rate it, review it on iTunes so other people can find it. You can subscribe. But whatever you do, keep on tuning in. We're glad you're here. I'm Soy, and I'll save a marshmallow for you.